Hello and welcome to Demo Play Thursday. Today I'm on the Switch and it's Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. I think this game is kinda celebrating the 25 years of the Dragon Quest Monsters series. And this will be the first time I've ever played one of these games in the series too. Alright, start a new game. Well, If you're familiar with my videos, we all know what name I'm going to put here. <laughs> Good old spell check, it still remembers. Albion. Yes, I am happy. Oh, I don't mind. An option to go a little brighter? Sure. Well, these can be changed during the game, so I'm going to leave them as is. Music up a little bit louder. All right, shake keep that. So the majority of my viewers are from English-speaking countries, so I'll keep it on English. Auto play on and fast. Sure. This is fantastic. With a lot of demos you get no hints, no indication about what you're going to get, what's been cut and as you say at the bottom here you'll be able to continue using the monsters that you catch in this in the real game but level skills attributes won't be transferred but you still have something from the demo that you can take to the final game and that's fantastic news so this isn't a waste of time. If you play this and genuinely like it, get the game and you keep on playing. So yeah, we can uh, keep going. These videos are typically top out at about an hour. I don't actually know how long this will be. If it's under an hour, then it is. But if it's a little over, I'll try and keep it about an hour. I noticed the loading was a little long in the beginning. It's only me, Royston. You were born in a glory a fair bit. My dreams, I take it. Oh, Monty asked about you, by the way. Let's go see him when you get the chance. I think I may have to turn the music volume back down. <laughs> That's uh, a little high. <laughs> Alright, we've got a tutorial. Also good. A, okay. B to jump. Sure. Hides that. Map. Okay. I don't know where the menu is going to be. Oh, that's the lamp. <laughs> We've rated the camera. That's cool. Whoa, we move fast. That was I was not expecting that. By the way. Already we've got a hint of a story, okay. You can move the camera with the analog sticks and lock on, okay. Wow, your character zooms. That was so much faster than expected. Pink speech bubble, okay. Yeah, I can see that on the top right. There's like wings or something. Doesn't look too bad, does it? A little simplistic, nothing. Doesn't look that too um, graphically challenging. Well, 
Oh, there's the pink one we can talk to. Behind the counter. Can I just jump in? No. I wonder if there's going to be like some hidden chests or collectibles even in this starting area. I can't see any. The draw distance isn't too bad. I'm not like we're looking back at the town and it looks pretty much the same. I'm not expecting anything to just to randomly pop in. Okay, saying that the trees definitely were popping in there. Okay. This is a nice little area to get an idea of the limitations of the Switch and the game. Nay, indeed. I was wondering if that was going to pet the horse. But it didn't. That's <laughs> a really <laughs> weird shuffle walk. The noise it makes when the text comes across screen is a little grating. Wonder why we've got loading here. Guesses this is a tutorial. Just kill that guy. <laughs> you look like him. You smell like him. No doubt about it. You're the one our master seeks. Are they gonna say why? Ooh. That must be the curse. I'm not too familiar with the Dragon Quest series, so unfortunately I can't really say I know what any of these monsters are. The slime is famous, so I've seen that. I remember seeing the slime PS4 edition, which was really, really fun to look at. 
but I've only played little bits of a couple of Dragon Quest games, so I'm not familiar with the characters. I'm only familiar with the art style and kind of the um, the overall themes and what's perhaps been talked about by other people. So I know the graphics are typically good, the story is mostly fine. I think combat can sometimes be a little bit off in these games, but this isn't one of those games. This is monsters, so it'll be interesting to see how they do it. Well, I'll tell you all about it later. Well, don't tell us later. Tell us now. Oh no, no. Good point. Good point. Yeah. And I got just the monster for the job. This way. Well, that's not too bad of a demo so far. We've had a little tutorial, we've had quite a bit of world building, and we've seen his curse in action. Where were we? As I'm sure you know, this isn't the first time monsters have come to the village hoping to find you. We've all I didn't know that, but. but okay. I wonder why they care about me so much. I wonder if I've helped them in the village. Well, they did say I put up that barrier, but... A wrangler. Alright. I'm not a clue. Like I say, it's my first time playing a Monsters game, even though it is just a demo, so... Yeah. Tell me all about it. I speak of the mighty gladiators who marshal their monstrous troops in battle. You know, his character model looks really quite good. The shading, the design. And my character model looks a little simplistic in comparison. But his bobbing backwards and forwards is a little off putting. It's like one animation just looping. Lovable monsters to more rugged types. I'm gonna say no. Would you prefer a monster with sleek skin to one that's on the furrier side? Yeah, sure. Why not? I wonder if this will actually do much to the game. Yeah, we're the wonderful. Cool. I wonder if this is like a choice between two. One that's furry and cute, and one that's weird and not furry. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. Yeah, that's definitely weird. Sure. That's weird. Mud mannequin. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Right, taking a shine to you is an interesting choice of words. Alright. More tutorial for gameplay stuff and mechanics, hopefully. I can hear my switch. It's pushing it a little bit. My switch is docked, obviously, to record this. But it's not exactly close. I can still hear it. I mean, the world looks nice. It's a nice water effect. Now then, it's a lot of movement. The grass is moving. The water's moving. And some of the shadows are moving too. I can see some of the tree branches are moving. But it's weird that kind of the flowers aren't. Nope. 
I wonder if this was going to be the other monster that you could have been given at the start. Dynamic battle? Whoa. Never seen that before. That looks familiar. That's definitely the slimes, the famous one. Oh, there's a chest as well, okay. Yeah, these battles are going to be like turn based or dynamic. Be interesting to see. Oh, that's our mud guy. Menu. Let's have a look at these menus. Yeah, we can do a lot here. And we'll change that back what we can do in display oh it's just that text uh, there's all the same stuff we had before well it's nice we can't play in the demo but it's nice that it's here if you forget what you've been doing in the game click on this and you'll get a little bit of the story Okay. You can see the pop in a little bit with the flowers. It's actually kind of close to the camera. And there's quite a lot. The basic grass seems to be there, but a lot of everything else. <laughs> the more finer detail. Oh, that's a lot of stuff on the left. Use the word scout. Okay, you may not always flee. Sounds like a challenge. I want to see what a scout does. Did we just get that? It's not the clearest animation or text on screen. You scouted a monster already? I tell you. All right, one more time. With feeling. If you want a monster to join your squad, you can either use a show of force, or you can simply defeat them in battle. If they get back up once the fight is won, then they want to team up with you. Sounds like it's not always a sure thing that a monster will join you. Oh, there we go. When you scout a new monster but haven't got space in your party, it'll be said Monster Depot. Monty can handle the details. I wonder if that's going to be like a farm back in the village. 
So you're gonna come back to the village and there'll be <laughs> in like a farm pen all these monsters. Kinda of like Legends Arceus. <laughs> or Arcus. Um there's well, that's where all your Pokemon go. You can't have any more in your party. So you can see all these big big Pokemon in the town kinda of farm area. Yeah, I can see the ivy. In summer, the greenery gets a growth spurt. Yeah. I wonder if that ivy can take your weight. Try climbing it. What do you say we go a little further? Walk with me, would you, kid? We've done that already. So let's get the chest. A smoked sirloin. Fair enough. I think we'll try and attack this one. Okay, it's so a one attack order, and both of them attack. But there's no like health bar or anything. Ah, remember we scouted with mud. My guess is when you scout you don't get XP. It would have been nice if the game had said that. We'd done scouting, we know what it does, but the game could have said, but when you scout you don't get XP for your monsters, they don't level up. And you see the stump didn't join us either. A bunny call. <laughs> G, I'm guessing G is money. It's a little weird there's no like symbol, it's just a letter. Oh, G for gold, yeah. So I didn't press any buttons, I just went up to it and it automatically did that itself. So we've got three of them here. One's asleep, so let's go for the one that's asleep. Like I wonder if we get some sort of advantage. Or a scout. With both of us, does that help? Ah, uh, okay, it does, it adds both of them. You're one of us now. Oh, I guess that was enough. It felt a little too low. I'm wondering if that is more like the percentage chance of it being caught. So we had a 25% chance of it being caught, and it was. But you see the slime's gone that was here. A pretty pebble. Fair enough. Can I jump down? Yeah. Alright everyone, attack. I kinda like the design of that one. It's uh kinda fun. What's that? Vegan Dragora. Ooh, talent points, okay. Oh this is nice. We can do it straight here. It's great, it's simplifying the feature. We don't have to dive into the options and the menus to find it. It's just, hey, you got this? Press this button, deal with it. Excellent, that's great.
and we just hit assign all and it'll do it for us there we go excellent it's nice that it's streamlining in it it's making it much more accessible and kind of just easier to play the focus for the game must be elsewhere, probably on like the story, rather than the mechanics of the game. Monster Munchies. Well, let's um, scout it. Let's see what happens if we get two of the same thing. What our options are. It was interesting because the first time we scouted, it was over 50. And this time it was just 30. I should, catch, I should label the ones we catch first time as prime. So, we've got two slimes. Level one, level three. Well, on this, is there anything we can do? Family tree? Was there breeding in this game as well? Interesting. It doesn't seem to be anything I can do, like send to something. So I guess we have to catch one more and see what happens then. We get a choice. So let's see if we can find something different. We haven't got a bunny corn yet. <laughs> um, are you alright, mate? It is a demo, of course. So that means the game isn't final. So there may be bugs in the demo that may not be in the game. Well, it doesn't trigger the fight. But it's definitely a strange sight. Well, let's get a Stumpy. Let's scout it and see if that will work. A stump Chump. Well, a Stumpy is just as good a name. Ooh, high chance. No. Now what happens? Okay, uh, we go on to attack. Well, do we get, we can scout one more time? Does that keep the fifty, or does it? Do we get a different number this time? We do get a different number. Interesting. Ta da! All right. So what are our options now? <laughs> Fair enough. Not enough spaces for Prime. That's a little weird. In a game as new as this, why is there a limit on the text? Change party. Oh, I've hit confirm. Star. Star. X. Okay. Plus, even. <laughs> Where is our friend? Ooh, let's attack. We'll also try and level him up. Maybe see what our stumpy friend can do. Frizz. Oh, that's our slime. Oh, that was quick. Again, we can do teleport straight from here. Wonderful to see. X just quickly deal, deals with it, and there we go. This demo does give the impression that the game itself is going to be quite user friendly. And that's a good thing for the demo to do. It's kind of like the role of the demo. Why are the seasons changing? What if we're gonna get different monsters as well? What say we regroup at that big waterfall at the back there? Whoa, 
that purple thing is like half frame rate or even maybe a quarter because the green and orange thing looks like it's half I got a big one there okay I think the goal will be attack everything oh two of them can we choose who to attack no we can't Now that did attack, it didn't do weird dance. Do you see the tick at the top? That means that we've already caught that monster. Which is a cool, oh, our guy at the bottom leveled up. That's nice that even the monsters in reserves can still get some points. Again, it's kind of making it quite accessible. <laughs> what are these? It's a weird looking group. Are we scout? Is it scout both? Just one. What's that? Robergine? Robergine? <laughs> Bizarre monsters. You got me realize that this is kind of like my first time properly um, diving in. So. This must be what it's like playing Pokemon for the first time. <laughs> all the crazy monsters in there, and you got all the crazy monsters here. Ah, we scouted one. Another one. Okay, so we can scout one, it ends the battle. Sure. Ah, that one I've seen before. I've also seen some of these monsters in some of the shops here in Japan. There's often. For example, in the Yodabashi, maybe a Dragon Quest section. Like there's a Final Fantasy section and Kingdom Hearts section where you can get items just specifically from that thing. Now, I've got two now Nautala points. You can see here, 6-6. Six, six. Assign all, yes. Sis. Okay, so left and right switches monsters but L and R, R1, R2 doesn't do it. That's Squelch, what a lovely name. I know a Squelch. Okay. Where are we going? Towards the waterfall. Bunny corn. Look for all the leaves. Ah, there's one. Nice little fairies on it. Monster manure. Lovely. <laughs> At least that one seems obvious what you're going to do with it, but well, I wonder what you're going to do with monster manure. Now, will these follow me and get two? No, okay. Yeah, fight. Go for it. It's interesting that there's no, like, type chart. This is strong against this. All our ones at the bottom there are fists. So I'm wondering if we're going to get, like, a magic type, maybe, or something else. Yeah, let's uh, get the leaves and get this big guy. Do we get an advantage tacking from behind? Doesn't appear so. So far, we haven't picked up any monster from fighting them. <laughs> Squish, okay. 
So let's see if we get this one. We picked up an item, but we just still haven't got a monster from attacking. I have to assume that that does work and that it's a rarer occurrence. Scouting is perhaps the better way to get a monster. Maybe he doesn't notice. He... <laughs> it was right in front of us. We stood right next to him. Fair enough. I guess those eyes are just for show. See, I would like to attack everything now, just to see if we can actually get one of them to join us. Something shiny. Of course, of the pop-in, and being, a, being unable to see things off in the distance, you really are going to have to explore. It wasn't so much a problem in Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, even though the detail wasn't there. You could often see something in the distance. Maybe a column of light or a Pokeball. Again, it wasn't exactly detailed. It wasn't um, always obvious what it was, but you could see that there was something there. But that green thing didn't appear immediately. It wasn't until I walked up close to it that it appeared. You could say that's the downside of a demo. Because it comes out before the game comes out. Well, often they do. This one has. This game isn't out just yet. It means that the game isn't finished. The technology, the, it might need patches, it might need optimizations. So I can't say for sure if the draw distance is going to be better in the real game or not. So you could say that's a limitation of demos, especially for demos for games that aren't out yet, because you just don't know the tech. You don't know if it's going to get better or not. We're well, leveling up nice and slow. It doesn't feel like it's too crazy fast at the beginning. You notice that that Capsaicin that was over here is... Oh no, it's there now. Ah. I, it felt like sometimes when you defeat a monster, all the monsters on the world reset. See, the water cascading down looks better than the water at the bottom. Oh, That's a cool effect. I know why the seasons are changing. It's the game using it as a tutorial. Saying in different seasons, things are different in the world. It's probably going to be a hint that you should perhaps come back to these areas. If you see that it's summer, maybe go somewhere where you haven't been in summer before. So I imagine there's going to be some way to get around the world quickly. When you're done exploring, let's slip under that arch and see. Sure, we'll explore the cave. I wonder if the ice is going to be slippy or not. No, we can stop on a dime, so... This is a cool little... Uh, monster? Calamari Kid, it's just the name is really good, this one. Oh, we're really strong. Again, we haven't had anyone join us from fighting. And it did seem like that's one way we can get monsters was by fighting them.
Ooh. It was almost like there was a little ever so slight pause as the cave just appeared, or the things inside appeared. I don't know if you've noticed, but after each battle, our health and MP reset. So again, it makes the game accessible. We don't have to worry too much about party management after the battle's finished. During the battle, of course, keep an eye on your health, MP, um, status conditions. But outside, it's nothing we have to consider, nothing we have to worry about. So again, the focus on the game is the story rather than the mechanics. Right, let's go and get a chest. Single files. Fials. I don't know. I do wonder why the slime's always attacking first. I have to imagine that's going to be a speed stat rather than being placed first like our mannequin is. It's whoever's the fastest goes first. doesn't seem to be anything else hidden in here so let's head to the arch I feel like as a demo and tutorial area it's been very useful but I feel like I'm ready to move on like maybe it's a uh, what are these sparkly things here for where are they going Normally they tell us we're... Oh, something new. Oh, that is weird. Cool name though. Ant Guzzler. Again, the monsters look more detailed than our character. The people we've met looked more detailed than our characters. Uh, it's a little weird. In this kind of mode, walking behind him, it's fine. But, uh, we've done those. This one. Oh no, Calamari. But yeah, it's just a little strange how many other things appear to be more detailed or shaded or even textured and our guy, not so much. Oh, can't climb. You <laughs> don't run up. Oh, met you guys before. Where's this arch? Are we not here? You're in my way. Ooh, two of them. <laughs> Fair enough. Not like we just... Not like one of them just rolled into us. Now I thought that the MP was recharging after every battle, but it may not. Health might be recharging, but maybe not MP. Could explain why the slime attacked rather than using its fire attack. So is it being at the arch? Oh, other side of the arch is then, okay. Oh, same ones we've met. Those flower 
was in the river. I bet you could climb aboard and ride one. Why not give it a try? Go with the flow. Anyway, that's about the size of it. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. You've seen it all now. As the seasons change, so does the world around you. Even the cast of monsters. Is near out fun, I tell ya. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Back to the topic of monster wrangling. You've passed the audition with flying colours! As a reward for scoring the role... Wait, is this a spell for me or a spell for the monsters? Zoom. So this is, does this mean speed or as in magnify? That'll let you return to any place you've already visited. There you go. That's the quick travel. Remember, I said with the seasons changing, you need a way to go back to places to try them out in different seasons. That's Zoom for you. Okay. Well, I guess we should ride the flower. ZL. <laughs> There's a bit of a delay with the blue dot. Rose Hill was the town, and these are the places we've been to on our training. I want to ride the flower. Let's see if it takes us anywhere. Flowers aren't blooming. Got a new green monster. It's like a few big slimes. A uh, feral ball? <laughs> ah, okay. Well, let's try that. Automatic battles. Normal. So, speed and automatic. Now will this stay as an option or do I have to press this every battle? Let's see what happens. Let's pick another fight and uh, let's see what happens. Is that something new over there? Oh no, there's a bunny corn. It's like one big slime. Is this a different slime? You see, fast and auto battle has stayed. Okay, so again, the game is making it accessible. It wants to focus on the story rather than the gameplay mechanics. But it's not forgetting them, it's, it's still teaching you how to use the mechanics, what they do. But I guess it's pushing you more towards the monster wrangling and the story itself. I do appreciate that. I wonder, and I don't particularly want to try, but my guess is, when it comes to failing, um, you know, KOs or deaths, whatever you want to call it, that my guess is that's not going to be a big punishment for it. Because that's not the point. The point of the game is to play, to progress, to see the story and collect the monsters. So if you fail, I imagine there's not going to be a big penalty for it. My only question would be, where does it reset you? And you see we're faster than the monsters as well. Well, the ones around here anyway. Moon wart bulb. <laughs> What's that do? I think this takes us back to where we were. Yeah, you can see the arches there. So we could ride the river, or we could do that. Doesn't seem like there's any other new monsters around here. Saying that, we've got a big caterpillar looking one. Or centipede. Killer pillar, sure. Still no one's joined us from a battle yet. 
I, st I feel like either that's not working right or I've misunderstood it. Alright, let's try this zoom. Let's ho go back to Rose Hill. Ah, that's not that flashy, is it? I was expecting something a bit more, a bit more spectacular. But at least it's quick and the loading wasn't too bad. So that is a positive. But why did it put us outside the town, not in the town? Okay, so we've got a few things to do. We can try the teleportal, we can head to the shop. So I wonder if this is going to be an actual place. Or if it's just going to be a text screen. Oh, this isn't the portal. <laughs> Still smash, okay. I was not expecting to see anyone down here. Um, sure. Ah, there's the teleportal. Okay. It looks like the size of our paddock may also grow as well. Maybe we... Whoa. That almost feels like an old school effect. I was half expecting that to do the swirly thing and then automatically unswirl here in the paddock. But yeah, I wonder if we can get upgrades for the paddocks, maybe buildings, things that they can use to train, to level up, to make them happier. Well, there's a building, so maybe. That's a nice little tip. Set favourites. That's the CR button. You see bottom of the monster picture, a little heart appearing. Would be nice if there was an easier way to compare. Like I want to compare this guy to this guy. I can see one of them. But I can't compare both of them to see which one would be the better one to pick. So that's a little bit disappointing, but you can see on the top right, we could have a thousand monsters, and that's a lot. I wonder if that means that this game is big, or as we saw with the family tree, that there's going to be a bit more of a focus on breeding. Maybe we could get monsters in different colours, or we can create random ones. Dreaming and becoming human. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything in here to pick up. This guy's awake. Well, let's go check this building out. It is a little bit basic. I can't 
interact with anything. But yeah, look at this building. It's very weird and basic. It's almost surprising how basic it is. Oh, is this going to put us back outside the town or not? Nope, but that effect is already worn out as welcome. <laughs> I'd rather not have that. That's a weird little hitch there again as well. All right, old man, talk to me. Hey, old. Oh. Bit of story there. Hmm. I wonder why we want to get revenge. What you need, lad, is to enter your first monster mega. Way off to the west of here, there's a big town called. <laughs> it sure is not a moon. That's where monster wranglers go to test their metal in the heat of battle i reckon if you were to make a name for yourself there your dad might just sit up and take notice now i'm not going to sugarcoat it the path i'm proposing is a perilous one yeah i'm ready Good lad. now without further ado let me make the necessary arrangements oh, here's animation is a little a little off a little weird this here's a handy telly portal it'll take oh, that's convenient i'm guessing there's not going to be a big giant overworld which we're going to navigate the game will perhaps set up a story reason why we can just hop place to place probably via these teleportals and we perhaps explore outskirts and stuff but yeah, I'm not. I don't think there's going to be one giant world we're going to be navigating. Maybe we'll get a ship or something we could fly about in, but I also don't think. Well, there might be like certain places on the map we could visit, but I think Final Fantasy seven VII and eight, kind of the PS one era. Is that monster is just. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Do you want to have a go? I believe in you. Sure, we'll probably do this. So this video is actually going to be a little longer than I expected. I would like to see what this brawl feature is going to be. Part of me thought the demo was going to end after the tutorial. So the fact that it keeps on going is quite nice because we're getting to see more of the game, more of the characters, and we're getting more of our own personal backstory. So it's a nice beefy demo. Ooh, that's blurry characters in the background. Now we've had there was no option for us to do any point or anything like that, so you're gonna have to be ready before you join. That's a couple of different monsters there, that's for sure. Deep cut, but that referee guy looks like the referee from Metabot. So it's set to fast, but it's not set to auto, you see that? So I'll turn fast off for a sec, let's see what happens. Again, there's no health on any of them. 
and I'm not able to pick who they are attacking. I think I would like health. If there was like a scout level 2, then I would be able to see maybe a guesstimate of the health of the monster. Even our character saw celebration is a little muted. The handsome stranger takes the first. Do we have a new rising star on our hands? The crowd sure seems to think so. But who will he face in the second round? It's the category G heavyweight ready to put No, you in not Uncle Trevor. Uncle you see how much he looks like the referee? So already we seen maybe a limit in the art of the game. There's going to be a, a lot of reusing. Maybe like the eyes will be swapped out, but the general face is kind of being repeated. Yeah, speed up and go fast. That's a good attack. I'm glad we picked up that guy. That slime's a bit tough. There we go. Incredible! The handsome stranger does it again, storming through the second round. So we've got one more battle. Who could have seen this coming? Judging by our winner, looks really can kill. But now it's time for the final <laughs> round. And look who we have here. He'll pulverize you DJ between DJ <laughs> I think I've seen that mole one from the right before as well. As we approach the grand finale, let's find out who will mall and who will ball. The ref in Metabots has more white hair and let's white roll. tash, but yeah, I get real vibes of that character. I have a quick look at the tactics. We haven't seen that yet. Support allies. So we need to check the moves. Prioritize supporting. Let's try that. Ah, yes, we can skip the others. This guy is. More of an attack. Uh, this one can do support. Sure, let's leave it like that and hit fight, see if we notice a difference. Well, he we still did attacking, that's fine. So far our monsters haven't taken a lot of damage, so that's probably why we didn't notice anything. From out of nowhere, the winner of Can the ever enigmatic handsome stranger. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just medicine, is that all we get? No money, no monster, no abilities, just medicine. Now okay. We're going to take a quick break from the monster mega brawl for something ever so slightly special. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention. 
Bitch, you will see a bona fide elf freshly caught this morning. Yeah! Now here's a funny thing. When this here elf cries, genuine rubies fall from her eyes. How delightful! Go on, make her cry. Oof. I reckon you can make a pretty packet flogging them rubies. God, just imagine it. Roll up, roll up. Which lucky punter will be first to snap up one of these highly prized rubies? I'll take one, good sir. Sold to that fine fella. Now, if you please. See a blubbin, you'll be walking the plank. <laughs> oh, I say, would you look at that? Ruby tears as I live and breathe. <laughs> what the? It's shattered huh? at the slightest touch. Now just what are you trying to pull? Uh, calm down, sir. I, I can assure you this is all completely above board. Uh, just uh, give me a second. Oi! Oh, well, she's only gone and done a runner. Just wait till I get hold of ye. I wonder why they don't think I'm an elf. My ears are the same as hers. I wonder if... Yeah, it's a little weird. See... I should be ending the video here, but it's a sign of a good demo where I want to learn more, see more. Of course, we can't attack monsters, but we can probably attack other people. Of course, yeah. Did you... did it? Oh no! How awful! How could you let him suffer like that? Humans are the goddess's creatures, just like us. Hmm, with pink hair like that, you would have thought perhaps would have gone with Sakura, but he's naming her after the village. Okay.
fine. I'm sorry I made you worry. Um... So... What's your name? What an unusual fellow. Wonder why we just zoomed out of there. Listen to this, Your Highness. Hmm? Who's at the door, I wonder? There's no pause button for this game. Salutations! I'm Devlin. Nice to meet you. Uh, and I'm... Well, I'm Rose. you say? So you must be the elf my master rescued then. I am. You have my deepest gratitude for saving me. By way of thanks, I've brought you some tasty nuts. Okay, party member. We have our own monsters. I wonder if hers will fight, or how how she'll work as part of our team. Don't be like that, Your Highness. The more, the merrier. We'll have a great slime together. I know it. Oh, please. I'll do all I can to support you, I swear. I know you won't regret it. Support, so perhaps she'll give items to the monsters. A bit of a stereotype though. How embarrassing. Female character is acting a little bit of a stereotype. What? You're saying no? You know how hard it was to find this place. All we had was the name to go on. And all the while we had to stay out of sight of any humans. We risked our lives. I heard from the villagers that you're looking for a way to lift your curse. That's right, isn't it? Well, there's no one better than an elf to break a curse. I, I wonder if we're not an elf because our elf. eyes are red. Did you hear that, Your Highness? Rose says she can find a way to break your curse. That's right! And that's why you have to let me stay. Please say you will. Sure. Oh, that's such a relief. I promise you. I somehow imagine at points in the story we are going to regret it. There's no pause button here. Well, I think it's wanting me to press the button, so I'm going to stop the demo here. Um, safe to say I enjoyed this demo. It's a good demo. It has a good tutorial, introduces the story and characters, it builds the world, it shows different aspects of the gameplay, different aspects of the world. You know, we've got walking around the overworld, we've got monster battling, management in the paddock, it's um, 
It's a great demo, and I would really recommend people giving it a go. And like any good demo, I do want to keep on playing, but for today, um, that will do. So until the next demo play video, or until I see you checking out some of the other videos, playlists, or YouTube shorts, or maybe I'll see you over at Kofi. As a small YouTube channel, we get no money from YouTube, but with Kofi, we can get subscriptions and we can have uh, PayPal options as well. <laughs> but wherever or whenever I see you again, please take care.